Hey girls, how is everyone? Happy Monday. Aren't Mondays fun? I used to not mind them anymore once I started doing this. I'm going to see if anyone gets on and then I'm going to get started because everyone can come back and watch the replay. I'm just pulling up my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. So I'm going to do a quick live on building leaders and then I'll definitely take some questions. And it's going to be, obviously if you don't have a team yet, it's not going to be as much information for you, but still information for the future. I have the slowest internet in the whole entire world, literally. Okay, um, I'll just get started. So first, I was going to talk about, well, you know what? I was going to talk a couple of things about sponsoring that are really important. Because um, you probably noticed we didn't have a sponsoring section of the um, training. And that is for a couple of reasons. Because you can't sponsor and you can't recruit unless you do everything that they talked about at the training, right? Um, so... There is one way to sponsor is to party. You know, one way to sponsor is to do follow-ups. Another way to sponsor is to do the selfies um, that Sarah taught. So it's sponsoring is all wrapped up into all of that. Um, but in regards to building leaders, what I feel like goes along with it is a couple of things. Um, don't prejudge anybody. You, you never know who may be interested in this business. Um, so make sure that you're not ruling anybody out and not adding to them to your list because either A, you don't think they would be good at it, um, or B, you think that they're too good for it, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But um, don't rule anybody out. You know, Be smart. If you have a list of 200 people, go through and make some stars. You know, star the people who take a lot of selfies. Star the people who um, are active on their Facebook already. Go ahead and, and definitely prioritize your list of people that you're reaching out to, but don't eliminate anybody from the list. Or um, you just don't know when one of those people who actually may not be great at this um, gives you access to their network and they recruit a couple of people along the way who ends up being one of your rock stars, right? So um, that's a really big deal, important to pay attention to. Um, the other thing is that if you were to think about yourself in this business and how good you feel you are at it, um, this light is driving me crazy. It's so bright, it's great, but it's so bright. Um, if you think about how you feel in this business on a scale of one to 10, like if you think you are an eight at this business, um, you're going to recruit people who are an eight or below in your mind. Subconsciously, that's what's been shown. That's what you're going to do. Um, so you've got to know that that's going to be your bend and you've got to do otherwise. Okay. So you're like, and I've done this. Um, I have a friend, she's a vet. She went to school forever to become a vet. And she reached out to me about joining Unique. And she did join. And I just couldn't imagine. I was like, oh, gosh, she went to school forever, you know? She went to school forever to do this. And now, here she is wanting to join my team. And we call that the chicken list or the scary Marys. So make sure that you're also talking to all of those people. So don't prejudge because some of those people are gonna end up being your leaders. Hey girls, if y'all are just jumping on, you may have to go back to the beginning, but um, I'm just starting on the building leaders. I was talking recruiting for a minute. So building leaders, what are we looking, who are we looking for? Um, we're looking within our teams. So within our teams, right? We are gonna be looking for those with consistent PRS. For me, I'm gonna be looking at 500 and above. Um, we are gonna be looking for those who ask questions. Are they interacting in your training group? Are they interacting in any team chats that you have? Um, are they coming to you? I can tell you, like one of my, I use this all the time, but one of my black statuses, Brennan Gassaway, she asked me so many questions and she was always like, 
I'm driving you crazy, I know. I love it, um, and you should love it. Um, people are asking you questions, that means they're anxious to work their business, right? Um, also, it really helps you know where they are. You know, what kind of questions are they asking you? So that's another way to identify who we're gonna be working with and um, who our potential leaders are gonna be. Those who are participating in your team groups, like I just said, team chats, um, those are the people that are hungry. Those are the people that are gonna take your advice. Um, obviously looking for people that are coachable um, put in then they, that they also put into actions the thing that um, the things that you give them so for example if I if someone comes to me saying I can't get parties and I brainstorm and I give her five ways to get parties and in three days I check in and she says oh I haven't started yet probably not gonna be one of my leaders um, that's not always but uh, you're gonna wanna keep notes on that, right? You're gonna wanna know. I gave her something, she came to me, she wanted my time, she wanted my advice, and now she's not doing what I asked her to do. Important, mental note, right? Um, and we're looking for people who are not afraid to be uncomfortable. People that are willing to go outside their comfort zone. People that are willing to do a live. People that are willing to put on makeup and take a selfie that wouldn't normally have done so. Okay, so those are the types of people we're looking for. Where are we going to look for those people? Um, several things. Your tools are going to be your back office, your chats, your group, and your Facebook wall. I'm going to talk more on chats um, and groups in here in a minute. Okay, but you're going to be watching all of those things. Obviously, back office is a really great place, um, but it just tells you numbers. Um, numbers are good, but you can also, as your team grows, like last month, for some of you with larger teams, I had my elites go in and give me notes on who I, who I could reach out to. Um, so, you know, if your girls are coming to you saying, I have a rock star, yeah, I'll save it, Amber. Um, you're going to want to take note of that, right? Um, I'm losing where I am in my notes. Okay, important part of this, don't only look in your personally enrolled. That is a huge mistake that a lot of people make. I have girls all the time that are like, well, I don't think that she's training her team. Um, what? You don't think that she's training her team? Okay, one, who cares? And two, you should be training her team. Unless I have someone that is like a absolute rock star, I'm going to train their downline as far down as they'll let me. Um, you definitely want to, sorry, I'm getting messages. You definitely want to create, I'll get to the chats, but um, so personally enroll. Here's what I do. I look down every leg. So each person of your personally enrolled is a whole different leg of your business, okay? So you want to look down that leg and see who is working in that leg. If you see, oh, I have a personally enrolled, she's about to go blue. I'm going to go work with her. No, you're going to look in your back office and you're going to look at her downline. Okay, you're going to see why is she about to go blue? Is she about to go blue because she's working and she's got, you know, a few girls working a little bit? Or is she about to go blue and she doesn't even have her PRS yet and somebody under her has 3K in PRS? Does that make sense? I'm not going to necessarily put a whole bunch of effort into that personally enrolled if she's not the reason she's blue. Um, so that's just an example. And you're gonna do that with every single leg of your business. You're gonna find out who the worker or workers are in that leg and you're gonna work with them. And I'm gonna talk about how to do that. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, each leg. Okay. Um, as your business grows, that is definitely going to, this is all going to evolve, okay? So I'll say if you're anywhere from brand new to green or orange, depending on if you're hitting consistently, you want to be training everyone. That is how you find your leaders. You can't just work with your personally enrolled. 
Um, you can't say, well, this girl's kind of good. I'm going to let her go off on her own. You have to train everyone. I remember my sponsor is Whitney Husband. And um, I remember I was standing in my backyard and I was like, Whitney, I'm tired. I have no leaders. I had tons of people on my team. I was getting no rest. I was just trying to train everyone. And I was like, should I be doing this? And she was like, yes, train everyone until you had like 500 people. And I can tell you that really that was probably one of the top five things that skyrocketed my business because I did it. I took her advice to heart. I'm not saying I talk to every person every day, but I structured my chats and my groups in a way where I had connection with them and I was able to identify my leaders by the ways that I just was telling you. And I'll go more in detail. Um, okay, let me talk about this for a minute. Um, structure of building your team. Everyone, oh, it's so tempting to get someone who takes off running and maybe she goes green and then you're like, my team is growing, I'm having a lot of growth, I'm gonna keep on working with this leg, they're doing amazing, and then the next thing you look up and you don't have circle cells anymore. Um, that's not how you build leaders. Um, just you, you don't wanna get stuck in management mode until you have a whole ton of people on your team, like thousands, okay? so. What you want to do, what your sole focus is as a leader, if you're trying to build your paycheck and you're trying to build a black, is build wide. As many personally enrolled as you can. Remember, only one in three people is going to work very hard at this business. So you're definitely going to want to build wide, um, as wide as you can, and your depth is going to come. And that depth is what builds your paycheck. When you get first generation elites, second generation elites, third generation elites, that's what's gonna start building your paycheck. But you're not gonna get that if you build a front line this wide and then you get really excited because you're making about $1,000 a month and you just keep focusing on these little people that you have. It's not gonna work like that. So please know, if you don't continue recruiting, if at any point during your business you take a break from building your personally enrolled, you're going to have a problem. You're going to lose momentum or you are going to have a very small circle and not be able to build more elites. It's very hard to get momentum back. Somebody said that at the training. I can't remember who it was, but it's so true. I've seen it hundreds of times. Okay, so let's talk about how, so we've identified our leaders, right? We've identified them by looking in our chats, who's asking questions, um, who's coming, who's seeking you out instead of you having to seek them out, um, who's doing the tasks that you're giving, who's liking your posts. Um, also, who's in your newsfeed? I think I missed that one a minute ago. Um, I'm always looking who's in my newsfeed, who's working. I'll even go through now that my team is larger and you can even do it you know, at any level. Make sure um, that the people you wanna watch, may unfollow some people you don't need to watch and make sure that you're going and actively commenting and liking the posts of the girls in your on your team that are working, that the ones that are in your newsfeed. So if they're in my newsfeed, if they've got consistent PRS in their back office and they're recruiting, they're starting to build a team, those are the girls that I'm gonna work with, okay? And so once we have them identified, exactly what Jordan said in her talk about goals. You're gonna act like you're already there you're gonna treat them like they're already there. And it seems so simple, but it's so profound. Um, what I did was I created a team leader chat. I had a bunch of blues that I thought had potential for green, and I had no greens yet. Um, I had probably 10 blues. And I went through, I added them all to a team leader chat. I asked them all to friend request each other, and then I, um, I asked them to start sharing. I asked them to share ideas. Um, I asked them, you know, hey, everyone, if you see someone make a good post, you can use it. Um, and I just, I kind of laid that foundation of, we all share in here and we're all gonna build together. And that's what they did. They built to green together. Not every single one of them hit, but I think eight out of those 10 eventually hit. 
Um, so you're gonna put your leaders in a chat together. You've got to get them connected to other people because, and not other people usually that are under them necessarily, not other people who are working their business half-ass. You have to get them connected to other people that wanna run like they do or you're gonna lose their interest, um, especially if they're competitive. Um, so you wanna get yourself a leader chat if you don't have it. I don't care if you have two people in it at this point, you and those two. Work with them every day. Treat them like they're your best friends and treat them like they're your sidelines, you know? I have leaders still, like many of those girls at the training, um, they're under me on my team, but I don't treat them like they're under me. Um, I don't treat them as they have any less knowledge than I do, and in fact, I tell them all the time how much I learn from them. And the same will be true in your team leader chat because they will, some of them will have ideas that you haven't yet had. So that's that's the benefit to you, um, other than the fact that you're building an elite. So you're gonna get those girls in a team leader chat, you're gonna get them working together, and honest to goodness, you're not gonna do a lot in that chat. You're gonna facilitate some conversation, but you're gonna freak out because they're gonna start sharing ideas, they're gonna start seeing, oh, I saw this post and sharing it with your other girls. They're gonna like train themselves. You probably don't believe me, and the bigger your chat is, you know, the better it will be, the more dynamic it will be. But even when it's small, just having that connection every day, um, it will build your leaders. So team leader chat is huge. Um, give them, again, give them connection. Um, so here's the other thing. Here is how I structured my chats when I was building my leaders. Um, they're a little bit different now, but I'm going to talk like what, if, when I was at where some of you guys are at. I st when I started, my entire team was basically in a chat. When someone would get blue, I would have them break off. So now I've got my girls in a chat, and then I've got this blue in a chat. Well, I'm also going to be in that chat, and I'm going to stay in that chat, and I'm going to watch her. And I'm going to comment and I'm going to, you know, say congratulations if somebody does something good. I'm going to really interact in that chat until I see that her team is actually looking to her as a leader. And when they do, I'm going to leave the chat when I, when I can't handle anymore. So you're going to have as many of your workers in a chat as you can. And this all is going to depend on your color if this is even feasible. I'm saying color because it's, you know, relative to the size of your team, but it's not really about the color. It's about the size of your team and how many workers you have. But say you've got 30 people on your team. Say you've got five people on your team. doesn't matter. Have a team chat. Every day they need connection. Every day they need to know what you're doing for your business. Every day they need to see you being consistent. Um, you can put daily posts in there if you want to spoon feed them. Um, and in those chats, which is just your team, regular team chat, this is not your leader chat, this is your regular team chat, that's where you're gonna be looking for your leaders. Um, and then like I said, as your team grows, someone's gonna get blue and you're gonna have to break their girls off from there because you know their team's growing, they're getting too big, you need to start getting them to, to act like a leader. And so they're gonna break their team off and they're gonna run their chat. But I'm gonna be a fly on the wall and I'm also going to interact a little bit, and eventually, when I feel like she has got this, I'm going to leave because I need them to look to her, or they're always going to look to me, and there's going to come a time where there's too many, right? Um, so you can do lots of things also to build those leaders up. You can ask some of your blue statuses, and they don't have to be blue, you know, occasionally, I see someone kicking butt at pink, and I'm like, she's going to be on elite. I know she is, and I would put her in a, in a leader chat. Um, but you you want to, like I said, treat them like they are already there. Ask them to do a team call with you. Ask them to do a Zoom meeting with you. If you don't know what Zoom is, it's amazing. Um, it's just a video app where you can see and talk to uh, people on your team you can give them a link so definitely want to be doing that let's see does anyone have any questions 
It sounds so simple, but it is simple. It's just like everything else in our business. It's not easy, it's a lot of work, but the processes are simple and the processes are in place. If Just like the magic is in the messages as far as PRS, the magic is in the messenger again with building your leaders. Getting connection with them every day, treating them like they're already leaders, getting them to post in your team group when you're gonna be out of pocket for the day. Um, those are all things that will help you build leaders. And it seems common sense, but people struggle with it because they don't see the whole picture. Um, but the biggest thing, another thing I do is um, new presenter would new presenter trainings. Um, I like to do them in a chat, especially when I was building my business because you know, I might have a girl on level four of my team and she just recruited someone. Well, I have no idea what information that girl is getting. I have no idea if they're giving her the right information. So I would do team leader chats. I would do at least one a month, sometimes two a month, depending on how heavily people were recruiting. And that's where I would really find my leaders. I would look through, I could tell by the people interacting in the chat. Again, same, same exact thing I've been drilling in. Who is asking questions? Who is sharing an idea? Who, if Sally asks a question, is um, Joanne answers it when I haven't had a chance to look at the chat yet? Joanne is probably going to be one of your leaders. Um, yeah, if there's only two working, um, you're working with you at all. You don't really, you're not going to have a need for a leader. If, if, if you're saying you have two leaders, then yes, that's plenty for a leader chat. Um, start interacting. Ask them for ideas. What are you guys going to post about today? Have y'all done a, flaw, a Flawless 4 video yet? I want to see it. Um, any kind of interaction with them that builds them up is going to be good. Um, and if you don't have leaders yet, then we just need to still be recruiting. You know, this is the building leaders talk. So I'm, you know, talking to people with bigger teams at this moment, but um, it, everyone's gonna be here at some point. And if you're not, then you just gotta keep recruiting and you will you will build your team. Did anyone else have questions? The training was so good, wasn't it? It was amazing. Lots of good information. I think they put the PowerPoints in already. Haven't had a chance to look at that today. Probably going to put some of the um, presentations on YouTube too, but that hasn't gotten done yet. No more questions? Building leaders? Again, like just to wrap it up then, um, chats. Chats are the, gosh, if I could just explain, they are like how you grow your business. Um, I can tell you a little bit. I mean, in Jordan has a ton of leaders as well. Um, and she she does the exact thing that I do. Um, and some it, we all do different kinds of chats. Sometimes we'll do, and, and groups, um, building blocks. If you don't know what building blocks are, um, you're gonna get familiar with those as you grow your business. A building block chat or group is um, a yellow, pink, or blue, a get to yellow, a get to pink, or a get to blue. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take inventory of your team and you're gonna say, okay, I've got 10 people working on yellow, two people working on blue. So this month I'm gonna do a get to yellow. And you're gonna get those girls together. Again, if your team is still small, chats are always the answer. You can build so much better relationship. There is a point where that's no longer an option. You've got to do a group because a chat would just be extremely chaotic with that many people in it. But um, those building block groups, you're just gonna give them a task, a daily task to work towards getting to yellow. So in yellow, for example, they're gonna be very basic. Do you, you know, video on how to get their domain name, lots of probably posting ideas, um, wording to send out for the kudos this month, um, launch party information, stuff like that. Um, let me read through the questions. Mm. New presenter chats are super basic. Um, get your domain name. Here's a video on how to start your party. Um, here's 
uh, how you run your launch party. Um, I always share the Sherry Brown video on sharing, not selling. Um, I have Sherry Brown's customer service videos in there. Um, I have information on, um, and then I'm going to do basics, right? So some back office training. Make sure they know that they're getting to yellow as their first goal. Um, the power of posting, how to post. If you're in Lashin's team training, there's a, the files that are in the Dropbox, the Dropbox files, not the picture Dropbox, but the file Dropbox under new presenter. Um, many of those files is what I'm sending. I mean, I, I talked to them about pay quicker, um, when they're going to receive that email, how often they're going to get paid, what fast start is, just the very, very basics. Michelle, you can message me if you want to, but what all of those things that I just said are pretty much what I put in there. Um, why are you saying they're not successful? Like, they're just not talking back to you? Okay. Um, do I only run that chat for a specific amount of time? Yeah, like a month. Uh, uh, not a month. <laughs> like, like years, uh, not a month. Like, um... 10 days to two weeks. I don't delete them after that, but I stop posting in them when I'm finished giving the information. One thing I do at the beginning of my um, new presenter chats is I just tell the rules. Um, and I do that in all my chats. Um, I'm sure you guys do too, but if not, you know, obviously no drama, no negativity. Um, and, I, and my negativity, like, the I don't care if they say I can't seem to sell a product. I don't want that crap in my chat, and I wouldn't remove someone from it. But I I would really like, hey, let's be positive. Um, you just haven't sold anything yet today. You know, I, t I turn it around real quick, and if they're a negative Nancy, then I just PM them. Um, but in my new presenter chats, I really get interaction by telling them I want this to be interactive. Ask any questions that you need. Um, if it uh, I tell them not, please not to thumbs up me, not to use any emojis, but that I that we will get the most out of this chat if it's interactive, if you're asking questions, um, and then you know if they do ask one, I'm like that's a great question, and I tell them you know if somebody asks, if you have a question, somebody else probably has the question too. So those are the really only things I do, and it I mean usually it's fairly interactive. One thing, I guess, yeah, the thumbs up's terrible, is, you know, depending on the size of the chat, but I don't know what you're doing, Michelle, but you might want to still be doing them for your whole team if your leaders aren't. Someone needs to be green for a few months before I really count them as, I, I celebrate their green, I don't mean that at all, um, but I don't push them off on their own, like into their own training group, um, or... I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask them to start doing their new presenter chat, chats on their own or anything. And the reason is twofold. One, they're, they're usually not ready. And sometimes they, you know, they, maybe they hit green because one person had a five, 5k in PRS, right? So were they really ready for green? Maybe, maybe not. So I want to see if they keep hitting it. Um, so that's just a side note, you know, unless they've been green for a couple of months, I don't have them create a group. Um, and I don't want them, I would still want to help them in their new presenter chats because if I see somebody under them that's kick butt, then I'm going to work with that person because either it's going to help, it's still going to help my either first gen grow bigger or it's going to help me make a second gen. And really, I don't know how I missed this, but the obvious that you've maybe probably surely heard uh, hundreds of times work with the willing. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, I was on a Zoom with one of my girls and, and they were like, what, you know, is the most, you know, helpful thing to getting black status? And I was like, two things. We know how to sort. And Nicole Smith has a video on this if you haven't seen it. We're in the sorting business. We are sorting people. It doesn't mean that we don't care. It doesn't mean that we don't want every single person that comes through to be successful. It doesn't mean that you're terrible or you're dumb or you're anything if you're not successful. But to succeed in this business, 
you have to sort people. You are looking for your runners. You are looking for the people who are willing to make a sacrifice if someone else won't. Um, and so that's what I've noticed. One thing that most black statuses are very good at, and, and lots of other color statuses, but I think you get where I'm going with this. Um, there's not a hang up about, and, and I know that that was instrumental in, in helping me promote because I just didn't have that hang up. Like, I really want her to get this. I want her to have it so bad, and I'm just gonna keep reaching out, and I'm gonna keep reaching out, and I'm gonna keep reaching out. I didn't have time for that. If I reached out to them three times and they weren't responsive to me, done. It, if they ask me a question, absolutely, I'm helping them. But I'm done reaching out to them. Um, if you, if they think you are begging them to work, they are not going to work. Um, so that is one thing that you've got to get good at: sorting people, figuring out who your leaders are, where your time is going to be prioritized. And that does not mean that I don't work with the rest of my team. It means that the rest of my team gets the information in my team groups. It means that they do get answers every single day to their questions by the end of the day. But I'm probably going to respond to my leader chat or to one of my leaders before I respond to the other ones. Um, the other thing that I was going to say about all the black status leaders that I know is prioritizing. You know, we know how to prioritize the income producing tasks. Um, and that's, that's what you've got to learn to do, those two things. Be a good sorter of people. You can't want it for them. You cannot motivate them. You can inspire them. But they've got to dig deep and they have to get it. You cannot give it to them. Um, and prioritize. You know, how much are you willing to give up to sacrifice? You know, are you willing to let your house be messy for a little bit? And trust me, that drove me insane, but it was messy. Um, are you willing to not go to the movies, you know, on a Saturday and stay home and work while your husband takes the kids? Um, I didn't miss out on a lot of time with my daughter. I can tell you that right now. But um, I would sit in the floor and do blocks with her with my laptop. Uh, but I made a lot of sacrifices, a lot. Um, and I worked a lot. If you, if you want to grow quickly, you've got to sacrifice and get some momentum. And that's going to probably look like losing sleep. It's just like Jordan said at the training. Her son was having surgery and she got up early to work her business before he went in. It's just what it requires. But the, the result of that is the flexibility and the lifestyle that you never thought possible, right? So totally worth it. And Amber commented, um, run with the runners, walk with the walkers. Totally true. Yes, totally worth working on this when you could be out having fun. Pays off. Amber just had her biggest check ever. I won't blabber it, but it was awesome. Super excited. She quit her, her job. When, Amber? I can't remember. Um, I think that's it. If you girls have questions as you come back and watch, I'll try to remember to go back here and um, answer them. But we, again, thank you for coming to the training. Super excited about everybody in this group. I know so many people are working so hard. And I just want to encourage you to, if you've got some things in your mind, some fears, some things that you are making you think, I can't do this, everybody can do this. I'm just a regular person. Um, and I hit Black Status 1 last month, which is amazing. I don't, I, I can't put it into words and I'm seriously, literally still not barely able to talk about it without crying. Uh, but regular people do this job every day. Um, I made in a month over half of what I made in a year previously. So it's just so, ah, the opportunity is so huge and people get so stuck thinking or, or get so happy and complacent of I made a thousand dollars a month. I mean, that, that's not where we're going. Go for the black status um, and just watch your team grow up and watch the blow up and watch the lives changed. Um, so anyways, thank you all. And I'm glad you feel unstuck, Terry. And everyone have a great day and a good rest of the week.